So, so our vision at Wilmot Cattle Company is to restore the ecological function of the landscapes that we manage in a profitable way. So as Glenn just described, I really like that um, definition there by uh, Charles Massey. And, um, and ours is quite similar, that, that really that's what we do. Um, we're, we're a beef production business first and foremost, that is our goal, that's what our guys get out of bed every day to do, is, is think about how they can grow more grass, produce more kilos of beef. Uh, and run a profitable um, beef production business. So when I think about the word regenerative, I don't think of it in a, uh, as a, in a divisive manner, I suppose. I don't think that if you're not regenerative, you must be degenerative. I just feel it's a word that describes what we do in a really um, positive way, I suppose, uh, and an ambitious way. We now have enough data to demonstrate that animal density has created the biggest change in our ecological, uh, in our ecosystems um, over the last few years on our farms. Um, so there's two words that you leave here with today and printed in your mind. One is density and the other one is diversity, um, which is the, fifth, the sixth principle, which is uh, um, increasing biodiversity, maximising biodiversity, So, which is what we're always looking for. Glenn alluded to it as well. We're looking for as many different species of uh, plants, animals, microbes, um, trees, etc., through the landscape as we can have. At some point, we've got to get out of the way and accept that uh, our landscape is pretty healthy um, and let it become a self-sustaining ecosystem which is what Charles describes in that, you know, that definition of what Regen Ag is, is um, our farms being self-sustaining, basically that environment, that, that ecosystem, and the cows being the tool, you know, nature's recyclers, basically being the tool to um, complete that feedback loop. So, soil carbon, righto. Uh, carbon drives the whole system, okay? That's about the, the, about the extent of my scientific knowledge is if we build soil carbon, we will rebuild ecological health of landscapes. Um, you've heard about, a bit about um, climate change, Methane, all those sort of things, right? This is how we can overcome that. This is the opportunity for agriculture in Australia to demonstrate as a red meat industry, we can be a, um, a big part of the solution uh, to reversing climate change and reversing global warming by drawing down so much of that carbon in our soil. If you can improve soil carbon, you'll increase living plant production, you'll increase soil health, um, you'll improve the performance of your animals, you improve the health of your animals, you improve the health of your ecosystem. Uh, you'll improve the financial um, resilience of your business, uh, your people will be much happier. All this talk about carbon markets and carbon farming and all that other stuff, all they are is an opportunity to, um, to value add, as, as Byron put it in, in what he asked me to talk about, is to monetise some of this gain uh, and, and add additional revenue to your bottom line.